Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video I'm going to talk about PM 2.5 and why this is a silent uh, killer. Lately in the news you are hearing a lot that uh, the air quality in India is degrading at an alarming rate and actually we are making news for all the wrong reasons. Earlier China used to be the most polluted in terms of the air quality but now uh, it's India and lately Delhi is having the highest uh, pollutions in terms of uh, air quality and the situation is not that great in other parts of India and we keep hearing this thing that is the PM 2.5 and what is this all about uh, PM stands for nothing but uh, particulate matter and what is this particulate matter you might ask particulate matter is nothing but suspended particles in this air what we breathe uh, they uh, that might be solids or uh, liquid molecules and they are so small that you can't even see for example particulate matter 2.5 means uh, it's a 2.5 micron or less in diameter. To give you an understanding, uh, this is up almost about uh, 30 times less than the diameter of a human hair. For example, bacteria is just 5 microns. And these are so small that when you just inhale normally, they get inside uh, your lungs. And uh, constant exposure to this PM 2.5 can be uh, really bad for your health in the long term. And uh, the thing is that uh, I'll also have some links for some other websites, uh, for example, WHO World Health Organization and some others regarding PM5 uh, and uh, their adverse effects. You, uh, you can uh, check them out. But again, moving on, uh, the thing is that uh, uh, we keep hearing that uh, the situation is degrading a lot. So the constant exposure to this uh, PM2.5 is really bad because you are actually breathing this. It's invisible. The thing is that we don't notice this like other polluted or whatever if it's very bad smoke or something you can smell this this is sort of invisible and in long term it can be really bad for your health and you might be asking from where do these uh, pm 2.5 or pm 10 uh, actually generate these are generated by actually burning fossil fuels like for example in india most of the power that we get is via thermal plants and they burn coal so this generates pm 2.5 also uh, while you drive your vehicles or whatever the exhaust that also contains uh, pm 2.5 so and also from industrial plants the pollution that you see that also contains uh, pm 2.5 so these are some of the major factors that contribute to elevated levels of PM 2.5 and uh, what are the health issues you might ask and as you can see the problem with PM 2.5 is that the particles can go deep into your lungs and can even get in your blood streams. Short term effects can be eye irritation, nose uh, and sneezing and stuff like that but continuous exposure to uh, this PM 2.5 can be devastating and particularly uh, if you are having small children in your house or elderly people uh, they can be severely affected also people who are having asthma or are prone to allergies are more affected uh, with this PM 2.5 and the constant high exposure to PM 2.5 is not good for your health for example it is also believed that it can cause uh, cancer after seven year, eight years of constant exposure to PM uh, 2.5 so it's sort of a silent killer I would say it's not that you would get affected immediately yes if you have uh, asthma or allergic you might uh, get affected very quickly because uh, uh, those people are sensitive for example I am uh, allergic patient and I generally quickly get affected due to this uh, uh, PM level hence that's the reason I use air purifiers earlier uh, before using the air purifiers I had to actually take uh, what do you say uh, allergic medicines every day in winters generally in winters this PM uh, 2.5 levels uh, go really high but now after I have started using the air purifier in my house I still have to take some uh, what do you say uh, uh, allergic medicines but now generally I take it once in three days uh, generally the people these days uh, people are buying a lot of air purifiers but I feel this air purifier thing is just a small bandage that we are applying to this big disease that is growing because you can't carry your air purifier everywhere you go and naturally you have to go out of, uh, outside of your house and uh, stuff like that so uh, let's talk about about what are the safe levels for this PM 2.5 the PM 2.5 uh, what do you say pollutants will be there naturally in the air but what are the safe limits 
For example, uh, this is what uh, World Health Organization says. They say is that the safe level is about 25 uh, microns for 24 hours. And to give you an idea, in India, the situation is very bad. Here, uh, I'm living in Hyderabad, which is not that polluted. And earlier this morning, I actually tweeted the air quality index in Hyderabad was what? almost 235 and this is a monitor that i have that can monitor the pm levels right now it's showing uh, levels of about 30 to 31 uh, this is after switching on the air purifier for about an hour before switching this on this was about 145 so as you can see the uh, pm levels can be really elevated in modern cities and this is in my office this is completely close then also i had the levels of about 140 uh, so as you can see, it can be a silent hazard and WHO says that it should be around 25. So we are very far off from the safe levels. I don't know if this can be solved uh, immediately, uh, but again, the safe levels, we are way off from safe levels. Again, some other regions have their own safe limits. For example, in New York, uh, they are saying the safe level is about 35. Again, I'll have links in the show notes. So what can we do immediately uh, the current bandage that many of these companies are coming out is with air purifiers yes they do certainly help a little bit but again as i've told you this is just applying a small bandage to a big wound it's not a solution yes uh, you can have air purifiers and uh, they do solve the issue a little bit but again the moment you go outside your room or wherever the purifier is there you are affected with pm 2.5 so what can we as citizens uh, do to solve this uh, issue i would say uh, this is a very major issue and uh, this will take a long time to get solved but we as individuals what can we do i think so we should uh, cut down uh, on the amount of electricity that we consume because specifically in India, most of the power that is generated is generated via uh, thermal plants where they burn coal. And this is again a major source for PM 2.5 and other pollutants apart from PM 2.5. So I would suggest if you are, uh, uh, what do you say, renovating your house or changing the lighting or for LED lights, these, uh, 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 what do you say, consume a lot less power compared to traditional lights, you'll also save money. And also, uh, again, vehicles are, uh, we burn uh, fuel, uh, they are also a major cause for PM 2.5. So be a little bit judicious when you move around and plan your trip so that you don't take multiple trips for the same thing. And also, I know uh, these days, m many of us are living in apartments and stuff. Uh, but if you're living in an individual house, do plant some trees. And also, if your apartments have a balcony or something, do plant some trees. These are very small things that we can do. And uh, you might think it's not uh, significant. But if uh, thousands and thousands and lakhs of us uh, start doing this, then it can be a positive change. But this threat is real. This PM 2.5 elevated levels uh, uh, threat is real. And this can in long term have uh, serious health issues. And I don't think so. We want a future where after 10 years or something, uh, if we have to go out, we have to wear an oxygen mask. Just think about it. Uh, so again, it's also to, uh, up to our government to take action on this. But as of now, uh, we just hear news about it and uh, we get some political statements and nothing is done. So again, I hope uh, this uh, video gives you a little bit more info regarding the uh, silent uh, pollutant that is the PM 2.5. And the threat is real, guys. It's affecting all of us. So do share your thoughts in the YouTube comments uh, below. Again, that's it for now for this video. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.